They say, before making any important decision, one should always take three breaths. Will you marry me? The first breath avoids an impulsive answer, which will surely end in catastrophe. So you go for the second breath, which allows you to see things more clearly. Say something, Eli. Uh, uh, uh. Eli, you're, you're overreacting. It's just an idea. Just give me a sec. Really? Surprise! <laughs> Three breaths, they say. Always take three breaths before giving an answer. A decision must be made when one is aligned with the perfect moment. Big day, Mr. Barcelona. Please don't say that. You make it sound like I'm going to pageant. And what do you think you're going to be doing for three years, if not that? Huh? Big. Hey, we cried all we needed to cry already. You know, this is an important opportunity for you, so. Come on. <laughs> You know, we could just stay here forever. Forever? I think you need a bath. Come on! It's <sighs> gonna be late. I made you breakfast. Three years are gonna go by quick. Watch. I'll be here. Promise. It's as if life gives you the answer before you even ask for it. just need to wait for it. The perfect moment. My mom used to say that when a door closes, a window opens. I used to hate it every time she said that. Eli? Yeah, uh, Mark, right? Yeah, it's nice to finally meet you after what, a year? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it's been that long, but uh, do, I, do I look different than the pictures? A lot different. Worse? I didn't say that. Come on, you're cute. Thanks. Um, you use that app a lot? This is my first time. Yeah, sure. But if I knew I was going to meet such a handsome guy, I would have joined a lot sooner. Uh, what about you? Oh, yeah, I've used it before. Um, my boyfriend moved to Barcelona for a year, so... Uh, yeah, I've, I've been totally hooking up. Yeah, you told me that, the one that got away. Yeah, I didn't say that. So, if you're so experienced using this app, why, why did you choose to meet out here? 
to make sure you're not a... A serial killer. Yeah. You asked me that. <laughs> so are you... <laughs> I'm so glad this is the first time using this app. Do you want to go for a drink? I thought you just wanted to... I do. I don't know why, but... I'm sure we'll have more than enough time. My mom used to say, when a door closes, a window opens. Man, that shit is so real. Consequences are the responses of things that are said and done. Each thing we do opens a path as a result of what we needed to understand. Eli, you're, you're overreacting. It's just an idea. Surprise! <laughs> Surprise. Babe, look who's here. Eli, I'm so happy to see you. What a surprise. Come in. Consequences are results of things we have said and done. Benny, what are you doing here? Oh wow, Benny, nice to see you too. <laughs> they are inevitable, same as some decisions we make. Sorry, man. I'm Benny. Benny, the ex-boyfriend? Benny, as in the boyfriend. And you are? Mark, the fiancé. We just need to deal with them. There are dreams that, when they come true, feel more like nightmares than fantasies. It's as if life wants to test you by giving you what you wanted when you don't need it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize it was so late. What the fuck, Benny? You said you were gonna be in Barcelona for another year. So you decided to get married in the meantime? It's complicated. You're the reason I decided to come back. Staying in Barcelona for an extra year wasn't gonna do anything else for me professionally, so I got my master's. Decided it was time to come back. Remember? Don't be a dick. You know exactly what happened. And you didn't call me, you didn't text me, I didn't hear from you for like a year. Wait, what? I wrote you every single day for a year, Eli. Yeah, great, Nicholas Sparks. <laughs> Some dreams become nightmares instead of fantasies. That coffee makes it as bad as I remember. But they are not random. Let me try. You see them coming. You always see them coming. People take the word forever for granted. The word is as impermanent as the desire of the illusion. But it's just that. I know you're there, Mark. That joke's old. <sighs> well, and it seems I'm losing my touch. An illusion. I thought you'd have company. You left this morning. What was that? I thought you guys... I don't want to talk about it.
sorry that last night was weird. You don't need to explain, Eli. I haven't heard from him in like a year, so... Eli, it's okay. Like I said, people take the word forever for granted. And I know that you're waiting for an answer on your proposal. I just... I... Eli, it's fine. I love you. And that's forever. It seems to always be an illusion. I've read that happiness is a decision. You choose to be happy instead of it choosing you. What does he want? It's, it's been so long. He's wearing the ring. Fuck. Benny, you broke him. Me? I'm not the one who proposed. Yes, you did. Not to him. Mm -mm. Are we bad people? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I'm okay with that. They also say you should always feel happy for others' happiness. I can't believe it's been six years. That their joy should always be yours. I can't wait to hear all about the new book. Especially that of your loved ones. They say happiness is a decision, right? The problem with making a decision is that usually, the consequences are not just yours. Bye, Mark. It's like our lives are so interconnected that in order to deal with our own emotions, we must feel the other's heartbeat. This is stupid. So glad you're finally leaving. I do need to get back to my boyfriend. Listen, asshole. That guy up there might be crazy. He might have the worst temperament, and he might be a little bit too dramatic, just like you said, but that guy, he's my guy. And I love all of his imperfections. I don't know exactly how well you think you know him, but that guy and me have been together since we were 10 years old. Nothing's gonna break us apart, man. I know all about you, Benny. Your stories in school, your many boyfriends, your trip to Barcelona. Me and Eli, we're connected on another level. And I'm all good with you staying here tonight, but that one up there, that's my man. Comprende? Yeah. Yeah, you're not the one sleeping with him tonight. <laughs> it's like with every decision. We must not only think of us, we must also think of them. Decisions shouldn't be hard to make. We're used to thinking that they are bound to be eternal, but the truth is, no consequence lasts forever. And I know that you're waiting for an answer on your proposal. I just, I... Eli, it's fine. I love you. And that's forever. We don't... You don't need to get married for me to know that. Can I have some of that delicious coffee you always make? It's so good. And you always say that coffee is the best remedy for any bad moment, so... Let's make this a happy one. Yes. Good. Yes, I do. Wait, what? You, you do. Will you marry me? I used to take three breaths before making a decision.
I used to wait for that perfect moment, hoping the result would be the best for everyone involved. We are used to thinking decisions are forever, but the truth is, nothing is. Nothing is permanent. It shouldn't be so hard to make a decision. And I think... I might have made the right one.